Okay, hey, thanks, Brant. Uh, thank you, Wesley, and thank you, Ninja Trader, um, for this event tonight, this webinar. Can everybody hear me okay, first of all? Hit me a Y if you can hear me okay. Everybody give me a Y, loud and clear. All right, sounds good. All right, guys and gals, we're going to make a, uh, we're going to go over a unique system that uh, that I developed. Um, I've been trading, let, let me go over to the, my background a little bit. Um, I've been trading just a little bit over 25 years. I have to update this, uh, it says over 20, but it's actually been 25. I've been, I started in soybeans and corn in 1989. I moved into being a small order execution trader. Um, from there, I went into the S&P 500 futures trading. And now um, I'm strictly into mainly futures. I do dabble on Forex, uh, but my main, uh, my main focus uh, is the futures market. Uh, particularly um, if you log into my live day trading room, um, crude oil and gold. Um, I love trading crude oil and gold. I love educating crude oil and gold. I mean uh, crude oil and gold because um, they're so volatile. And if you know the right stop placement, uh, they're very high reward to risk trades. And I'll show you how this algorithm, it works on, uh, works on all markets. I don't care if you um, look at futures, uh, Forex, currency, or actually individual stocks. Um, when I was a small order execution trader, we were called uh, SOS traders. We would buy big blocks of, uh, you know, we'd buy on the bid and sell on the offer. And it was a unique situation at the time back in the 1990s. And uh, we were, I would go up against all the institutional players. Uh, I'd go up against mainly Goldman Sachs. Uh, that's one of the biggest players out there. Um, Goldman Sachs has a lot of different algorithms. I believe their algorithm is called Delta now. I think they have a Delta 9 program is a current one. But, um, you know, the, the, those are the guys and gals out there on the street that control the volume now in the market. Back when I got into the market, um, you know, the, S, the, the big contract, the S&P big contract was primarily the main volume on the S&P. And now, and that's, and that's when the floor traders controlled the market. It wasn't electronic trading back then. Um, now, if you look at the ES or the ES, the, the minis, they're almost, what, 85%, I think the last update we had, 85% of the volume in the market. So the last update I got, 85% is, uh, is the ES and only 15% is a big contract. And I think it's going to continue to go that way. I think electronic trading will eventually eliminate the, uh, the big contract. And that's how the floor traders used to control the market back in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. And then we moved over to electronic trading. And when we moved over to electronic trading, things were very, 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 uh, uh, we, we could become on a level playing field with the floor traders. Because now we can actually see the volume coming in and out of the market. We can actually see the footprint of uh, buyers and sellers as uh, in any market at any given time during the day. They, they leave their footprint. So if I got Goldman Sachs out there, trading their 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 uh, their their algorithm or some of their institutional traders some bank my indicator was developed to pick up those footprints and i'm going to show you today quickly how i do that and how we can have a unique advantage over our trading opponents um, and give us a high reward to risk trade so you know i've been a indicator ninja indicator developer strategy uh, developer also um, i educate uh, in our live day trading room we have one of the only rooms in the world that is open 23 out of 24 hours a day. It opens up Sunday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, and then it runs all the way to Friday night uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I, I let the charts run on my server uh, literally 23 out of 24 hours a day. So you can log in, log out, and see the algorithm running on, um, on crude, oil, crude oil or gold at any given time, uh, whether, you are a, or whether you trade overseas or you're here in the U.S., um, the, the algorithm is always trading on my server. So in those two markets, that doesn't mean it doesn't work in any other markets. I love the S&P 500 with the system, uh, the Dow minis, NASDAQ futures, you know, right across the board, Russell 2000 works on copper, works on soybeans, gold, and crude, you know, whatever markets you look at, Euro, British pound, New Zealand, the cross pairs in the Forex, uh, you know, whatever it is, what I show you today you can cookie cut the same exact setup in all markets right across the board, okay? So what I use is a combination. Now, when I first got in the, in the, in the trading business, I learned under what I call the two top uh, uh, educators out there as far as, you know, when I was looking at how to chart, you know, uh, you know, the markets and so on, 
you know, I learned under a, a guy named Larry Williams. I'm sure a lot of you guys and gals heard of Larry Williams. Um, Tom DeMarc, another big uh, 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 institutional guy. And they taught me a lot in the early 1990s. Because when I first got into the business, uh, when as far as trading goes, I made a lot of mistakes of counter trend trading and then also, uh, um, you know, going against the overall trend in the market, not buying retracements, and then also scalping a lot. And of all the traders I've trained since then, and what you're going to find out this system, this system that I designed is it's, it's designed for high reward to risk trades. So primarily when I see traders come into the room and that have failed from other systems or uh, other programs uh, out there, you know, the main thing where they fail or the main, uh, the one problem they have is either they counter trend trade the market, they try to pick tops and bottoms all day long, or they scalp the market. They'll try to scalp eight ticks, 10 ticks, but their stop is three times the size of their targets. What this system does, which I'll show you, is my goal is to, is to risk no more than $150 per contract. And my goal is try to get four to $600 on the trade per one contract. Sometimes we'll get over a thousand per trade. So my reward to risk, I'm shooting for four to six to one. And that's very important to, 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 for you to realize, either, whether you're a beginning trader or advanced trader, you ask any trader in the world, the reward to risk is key. Uh, we did get rated uh, by uh, methodology five out of 414 live rooms. I'm sure there's a lot more rooms out there. I mean, there's just tons and tons of trading rooms. It's crazy about how many trading rooms are out there right now. But um, at the time, we got rated number five based upon the accuracy. Um, we had a gentleman come in our room, and he rated the accuracy of the setups, and we were rated number five. Uh, but um, what I'd like to do to offer you guys and gals is this, is don't take my word for it. You know, we have a lot of members in the room. We have a lot of long-term members in the room that, that, that successfully trade the system. Is you can come in tomorrow. Um, I come in in the room at 8.15 in the morning, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 8.15 Eastern Standard Time, and watch gold and crude trade, specifically crude, because crude oil, it's an easier market to trade than gold. It's a little slower th than gold, but um, watch how the setups work and how I educate traders on how to trade the system with crude, because once you see the accuracy on crude, how it works, it works the same way in all markets, and I'll show you that today, today in, 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 in this webinar. But when you come in, what you'll do is you'll leave, you'll, 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 at the end of this, I'll show you an email to send to. That's Gerald, my partner in the room. Um, he will, uh, once you send an email to him, he will send you a password, a link, and you can go right in tonight. As soon as you send it over, he'll send you a video over on a little how to get up to speed in my room. It's about a 15 minute video, 20 minute video, how to understand what you're seeing in the room and the charts that are running live. And if you want to watch them tonight, it's open all night long. You can watch the algorithm trade. I suggest you be in my room at 8.15 tomorrow morning, 8.15 a.m. sharp. And then I, I really go over slow how to trade the system. So if your head's swimming today with this stuff, right, right, it's called muscle memory, right, is that if your head's a little swimming after this, after this webinar, no worries. Come in tomorrow at 8.15. I am usually on the microphone the first hour of the morning. Because typically with my system, I tell traders in Eastern Standard Time to log in no later than 7.30, 7.45. We're futures traders. We're not stock traders. So we're typically done by 9 a.m. in the morning. Meaning if you can trade the system an hour to an hour and a half in the morning, three out of five trading days, we're averaging being done with our ticks by 9 a.m. in the morning before the New York even opens up. So that's our goal every single time we get into the room. But I suggest you log in, no log in later than 7.30, 7.45. You'll see some members talking in the room about setups. And then I come on the mic on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 8.15 a.m. sharp. Just listen to me. I'll educate you on the setups, and I'll guide you through the process. Okay? So let's get rolling here. First of all, daytradingthefutures.com. If you do want to catch up on some of our latest trades or videos, we have over 300 videos. And the cool thing with this system is Market Profile has been working since 1985, all right? 1985, it's 31 years, 31 years, and it still is calling uh, the trades. On, a, on Every single day, you'll get a trade set up off Market Profile, either HVA, LVA, or the control point. And what I've done is I consolidated my program 
into picking these high inflection points and it's very easy for you to read in all these markets. So we don't system jump and we don't try to come up with different setups every day. We've been doing the same exact setups all in 2016, all in 2015, all in 2014. You'll see the exact same setup. So your learning curve, once you understand the terminology in a room, you'll be like our long-term members in the room, okay? So if you visit daytradingthefutures.com before we get rolling, I've got tons of videos on there and you can review. I, I would start with the latest one and just go down through and you'll see how we utilize um, the system, okay? So let's get rolling here this, here this afternoon and go over this. The three main components, what I found, and I'm telling you I've seen every indicator out there, every single indicator. Working with institutional traders, I actually work with prop firms and many hedge funds. I've seen every single possible indicator known. And of all those indicators, I have never seen an indicator or, or more of a strategy better than market profile. Market profile is the footprint of the market. It educates you where support and resistance is going to be as the market moves along during the day. And that's not using lagging indicators. Moving averages to me are absolutely worthless. You cannot take a moving average crossover system and be profitable because it's a very lagging indicator. So such as the MAC and so on. There's so many indicators out there that are so lagging. You need to know what's happening right now at this price point in time where support and resistance is at any given point in time when you're trading. And that's what Market Profile does. It, it lets us know where the you know Goldman Sachs and all the institutional traders and all the prop firms and the mini and the mini hedges out there where where's their order flow at where are they looking to buy and sell and this this what I show what I'm showing you today is a leading indicator not a lagging and that's very very key for you to understand leading leading indicators are get you get you high reward or risk trades lagging indicators you might as well forget about it and and just shut down your trading platform because it, it's it's just they don't work as effective as leading. So market profile has been working since '85. That's our main our main tool that we use. I also developed Fibonacci retracements. Now you can't take a Fib trader and and sit them out there with a blank chart and be successful either because Fibonacci retracements are great, but you don't know if it's going to stop at 62%, if it's going to stop at 1.618%, 2.618%, 4.236. 6.584, 11.01 Fibonacci retracement. You just don't know. So what I've done is I developed in the algorithm, I developed confluence. My Fibonacci dots will not come up until I got confluence point, uh, confluence levels on different highs and lows that tell me where high probability trades turn. You don't have to guess which higher low to, 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 to project your fib, your fib dots from. My Fib dots automatically come up and I'll show you how to do that. Lastly is market delta. Now market delta, okay? Market delta, it, you can't use market delta by itself. What market delta is this? All market delta is is a relationship basically between the bid and the ask. Are there more buyers? Are there most meaning meaning is there is there confidence on the buy side or is there confidence on the sell side? Meaning, are, are is everybody trying to load the buy side up right now or are they trying to load the sell side up? And don't make it any more difficult than that. Is they're showing you the order imbalance at any given point in time. So what, what we like to do then is we like to, uh, we like to find the uh, uh, market profile levels, and then we like to let market delta, once we re reach those market profile levels, once we reach those market profile levels, what we like to do is we like to enter off a of positive or negative market delta. But it's an order of importance. We don't set anything up until market profile sets it up. A Fibonacci retracement to show it's a level to retrace, and our market delta is a key to pull the trigger. Okay, and I, I'll go over the rules here in a second. Trading rules, very simple. All right, and I'm going to tell you, I've been doing this a long, long time, right? Ever since 1989, so well over 25 years. And I'm, you cannot make trading difficult. If you make trading difficult, if you think you can match up 20 different indicators at the same price point in time, good luck. And then, secondly, is that you can't be afraid of loss either on taking a loss on a trade. Is that the profitable trades will come to you once you are systematic about your approach with your trading plan, meaning you got to have a trading plan. You, If you do not have a trading plan going into the trading day where, and you're just going to say, well, I'm going to try to catch the top, try to catch the bottom, 
maybe I'll look at some moving average crossovers or when my stochastic shows divergence and all this BS, it's not going to work for you. All right, you're going to get your, your, your account clean. So you have to have trading rules. My trading rules are very simple. Market profile has to set the trade up. If market profile does not set the trade up, then we do not pull the trigger. I don't care if you trade the Forex, I mean, uh, uh, the currency market, the futures market. I don't care if you trade stocks. You know, it doesn't matter. Market profile has got to set up. Now, once it sets it up and price comes within two ticks, then I'm getting into market delta. Now that I know that I'm on this big footprint right here, market profile, big support and resistance, now that just qualify my trade. So now what I'm going to do is my algorithm will pick up the market delta. It's going to confirm the entry with the order imbalance. See, what I'm doing is, is I'm picking the highest probability point where the market should turn all by itself on market profile. But that's not enough. I'm letting market delta then show me the major buyer sell imbalance right exactly at that price point in time. Here's the cool thing about this. If you're going to be a successful trader on anything you do, you got to contain risk. You're going to get stopped out. No matter what, every system is going to get stopped out. The key is your profit and loss statement on a week-to-week -week basis. Can you have a sustained profit and loss statement? I mean, can you be up on a week-to-week -week basis? How can you do that? How is it possible to, be, uh, in, to do that as a trader? If you're going to do that, all right, of all the traders that I train, the successful traders who trade the system that consistently bring ticks out of the market on a daily and weekly basis, they control risk. What does that mean? My stops are placed two ticks above or below my swing on market delta after we enter. So no matter what, we have a hard catastrophic stop going into this. So if you're a two contract trader, let's say, no matter what, you're not risking, or if you're trading crude oil, you're not risking more than 15 ticks per one contract, no matter what. That's your maximum loss. That's your catastrophic loss going in when you hit the buy the when you buy the bid or, or you know buy the bid or sell the or, or, or I mean sell the bid or, or buy the ask. Is it that's your maximum loss? But what we do, we lower our stop to two ticks above or below the swing. So our average tr our crude trade or in our average gold trade is right around 12 ticks, meaning we're risking $120 for one contract and we're trying to make four to six hundred dollars. And sometimes we'll get a runner that goes a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks. And those don't happen very often, but they happen on trend days. But we're trying a four to six to one reward to risk. That's what we're trying to do. So we limit our risk because what you cannot do in these markets, in the futures market and so on, you cannot average in or average down. And this is what happens with a lot of traders. They think they see other support and resistance levels and they keep averaging in or averaging down. And then all of a sudden they blow their account up and they're like, what happened? If my trade is going to be wrong, it's going to be wrong, right? Stop out. But when I get in a position and we get in a position as members in the room and as traders that lease the program, then you want to let, you want to take 50% off at a certain point, which I'll teach you, and you let that runner run and you scale on the way down or way up to reduce risk. This system is designed for runners. A lot of systems are designed for scalpers. I've never seen out of one trader and I've trained if not thousands of traders, we got hundreds of traders to go through the room. I've never seen one scalper make money. And I've never seen one counter trend trader make money. So what makes it think that you're going to be smarter than the market? I know I'm not smarter. I can't counter trend trade. I know the system like the back of my hand and make money. You cannot counter trend trade the market. Now, is there a counter trend trade set up that I do? Yes, it's called a corrective wave. But I'll get into that a little bit later. But you got to get that, you got to get that out of your head. So you want to play small stops, two ticks above or below the swing. My targets. My targets, I developed are symmetry dots, which I'll show you in a second. Or the opposite side of market profile. If I buy low value area, guess where I'm trying to get to? I'm trying to get to high value area. If I sell high value area, I'm trying to get to low value area. Okay, and I'll teach you how to do that. But don't make it more difficult than this. If anybody, if you ask any member in my room, that's a year, two year, three year member in my room, what do you do? Well, in less than five seconds, they can tell you. I let market profile set my trades up. I use market delta to enter my trades with, for high reward to risk trades. That's it. That's all you do every single day. Don't make it.
get any more difficult than that. These two are very powerful indicators. All right. Now let's go over this real quick. This right here is a morning. This is 2 a.m. the morning till it is of the pit close on crude oil. The reason I want to show you this, I want to show you on the scope how market profile sets these trades up. The opportunity on market profile is just phenomenal when you know the rules. And here's the cool thing about it. We had one, two, three opportunity that market profile gives you. And guess what? Every single one of these arrows had market delta. Every single one of these arrows had market delta. Every single one of them. Market delta sell, market delta sell, market delta sell, 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 market delta buy. Now here's what this is our this is our market profile chart you get on your own Ninja Trader charts. We have two charts that's imperative for you to get on your own charts or view them in my live room. There's two ways to do this with my system. Number one, you can put these market profile levels on your own Ninja Trader, which a lot of my traders do. Meaning you can put this on your own system, on your own computer, and you can watch any market, any any futures, any stocks, any forex, and any currency. Okay, you can have multiple charts up at the same time. They they are they this black chart is my market profile chart. It's comprised of a few things. I have a built-in trend filter. Now I told you earlier, moving averages to me are worthless. You can't buy and sell moving averages. But what you can do is use them for trend direction. I love using them for trend direction. The moving averages, you can see I have a smaller moving average and a larger moving average. It's built into the system. It's called my trend filter. My magenta is my longer right here. My smaller is the white moving average. If they are, if my smaller is below my magenta, meaning it's angled down, you're in a downtrend. You cannot buy retracements. You're selling market profile retracements. If my trend filter crosses up, you can tell it take the first high value sell, but then you're only buying dips, buying retracements at the control point, low value, and high value areas. That's exactly how we trade our market profile. I let the, the first thing I do when I log in and I teach traders this. Now you can either log in my live room. If you trade crude oil and gold, you won't need to put this on your own system. You can just view my live room. But almost 85% of our traders have it on their own system. In fact, I got traders that don't even log in the live room that just trade their own markets. They have their own little mini hedge fund. They trade multiple markets and they just trade off this chart. And so let's say this trend filter is down. Let me show you how cool market profile is. Let me go over these things on this chart real quick before we get going. Okay. Very simple. If you look right here, if you look at, we have red dots. Red dots are a high value area. Okay. All these red dots are high value. The green, the blue dots and the blue line is the control point, the most volume that's been traded. And the green is the low value area. These are the only three support and resistance levels that you're going to have to understand how to trade market profile. Okay? Very simple. If trend filters down, I always sell red and sell blue when market delta, when I come within two ticks of it and a negative market delta but I never buy green. So right here at this level right here, now here, this is one thing I'm gonna tell you right now that I've been trading over 25 years doing this stuff. If you remember just this one setup off market profile, you're gonna come out of here, even if you don't even come, over, come in our room. If you remember this one concept, you'll do very, very well in the markets. Right here is low value area, here's green. My rules state this, if my trend is down, I sell red within two ticks or sell blue within two ticks with negative market delta. And I'll show you market delta in a second. All right. But I never buy green. I never buy green in a downtrend. Never buy LVA. Okay. What I want to happen is, is I want the trend to slowly move down. I want it to bounce off green. I want the bounce. If you see the market come down and bounce off low value, go back up. Meaning these are all counter trend traders. Now remember, a lot of traders before Active Trader had a, when they had a magazine up, I think they said like 80, what 85% of counter trend traders lost money, you know, when they're uh, as far as their their polls they took. So typically, counter trend traders get wiped out, right? So the bottom line is is all the counter trend traders have moving average crossover systems like indicators. The market's bouncing up. 
this is a perfect time, and I teach my members in the room, start smiling from ear to ear because you're going to have yourself what's called a rejected trade, and it's going to be a beauty. What I do with low value area, and unlike if you go to if you if you buy a book on Amazon, how to trade market profile, they always tell you buy low value, sell high value. No, you don't do that. You're going to get your clock clean. If you're in a downtrend, we sell high value, but we never buy low value. We let low value break, then we let it retest, and then we look for negative market delta. This big circle right here. This is one of your best trades that you're going to see in the room. It is where the market has come down. We're in a downtrend. You want it to bounce off low value because that's where all the counter trend traders are going to bounce it. They bounce it, and once it bounces, you know you now have, right? You now have rejected a rejected market, meaning all these traders, once it breaks this low, are, are going to get stopped out, right? These are what's called the wrongly positioned traders. And I'll show you how this works in a second over here on this buy. So that's where the wrongly positioned traders bought. They're buying low value area in a downtrend. So once that area is broken, these wrongly positioned traders, their stops are getting taken. Now, when I was a small order execution trader, we used to pray off of traders that traded like this. And I do the same way in the futures market. It's just novice traders that have no clue how to trade price action. Because if you're in a downtrend, you do not buy low value. Let it bounce. Let it break. My traders wait to a retest within two ticks, and then I want negative market delta. There's your spot. All right? So what we do, my methodology is this. If my trend filter is down, I sell red and sell blue, but I never buy green. I let green break and let it retest. Now let's go to the next trade. We come back up. High value area is your sweetest spot you're going to get on a retracement and a downtrend because that's high value. That's exactly where you want to go. This is a really, really great trade right here. These two trades, here's high value. Now, my rule state, if we're in a downtrend, we sell red, right? High value area. It comes within two ticks. There's negative market delta. The market gets cranked. But look, comes down to green again. We don't buy green in a downtrend. We're smarter than that. We're more educated than that, right? A tick is like a pip in the forex, John, all right? For instance, crude oil moves from, let's say crude oil right now is at 46, 46, uh, let's say $45 a barrel. It moves from 45 to 46. In between that dollar a barrel move is 100 ticks in crude oil. Each tick is at $10 a tick. So when we have a stop loss, we risk no more than 15 ticks or $150 per one contract. Okay? So if you look here on green, on the green market profile, we don't buy green. We're smarter than that. Look what the market does. It breaks. It retests to the exact tick. You're going to find my system sometimes will stop to the exact tick on my LV and HVA. To the exact, exact tick. But I say if it comes within two ticks on a retracement, that's pretty darn accurate for crude oil. as volatile it is. Two ticks. So when we started this downtrend, when it broke low value area and it retested within two ticks, you want negative market delta. Get in the trade right there. Then it comes down. We don't buy green. We're smarter than that. I educate you better than that, right? We let green. We don't buy green. We sell red within two ticks. Let green break. Let it retest. Now, if you look over here, here's how you catch trend changes. Now, there's called a motive wave and a corrective wave. There's only one setup you need to learn in my trade room as far as these J signal trades, but there's two wave patterns. What I've done, and this has totally revolutionized the whole day trading industry, what I've done. I found a way to get into the impulse waves of Elliott Wave naturally with market profile. You're probably like, what are you talking about? An impulse wave on Elliott Wave is a three and five pattern wave. It's the largest wave of any market. I don't care what you trade. Go to daily charts, go to weekly charts, go to monthly charts. The wave three pattern is your largest wave. Okay? What I've done is, is I have found where to get the wave three and wave five patterns with market profile. Now, here's the cool thing about it. There's a motive wave with five with my trend filter. This is a motive wave. You're taking retracements with trend. But what happens if you get on the other side of the control point and you retest the control point and then all of a sudden our LVA and all of a sudden you get positive market delta? 
you got a trend change in the market. That's where the trend change started in the market. This is where you would go long. The best time to take a counter trend trade, and I will tell you this, and my traders, my members in my room, they'll see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trades where my system will catch the markets high or low on the first pullback after a low or high has been made in the market since 12 midnight. What does that mean? I call it session highs and session lows. If I This is at a session low right here, session low. It got back inside and retested my control point. At that same price point in time, I have positive market delta. This is a time you want to take a counter trend trade. Is right off session lows or session highs after it comes back inside of the control, retest the control or LVA, and that's your best time. And you'll see major possible explosions because it catches all the wrongly positioned traders that were short. All right. So now instead of when the trend filter turns up, I'm no longer selling retracements. I'm buying retracements. Right. So this is downtrend. Sell retracements off market profile. Then you get the trend change. You get one chance at the counter trend trade. One shot at it. 80, around 85% of my trades in the room are buying and selling retracements with trend. 15% is counter trend trading. Okay? Look at the explosion. All right, let's move on. Let me let me blow it up for you so you can see it a little bit more clear. Here's a trend that's down. The trend filter is clearly down. You do not buy green here. And here's what happens all the time. They'll see my system. The, the low value area will bounce really hard. But you don't buy low value in a downtrend. Remember, we sell red, sell high value in, in a downtrend. The, I projected this in the morning at 8.15. It came up at like 9.30, an hour and 15 minutes later. I said, that's our sell point. Now, this big, thick blue line is a, is a volume profile I have. What I've done, and I've totally revolutionized the whole market profile industry by doing this. I've taken price profile, volume profile, and developing profile, and guess what? They overlap at the same price point in time. You have confluence on top of profile. So now what I'm doing is I'm, I have a two times confluence at my profile level with my HV and control point and negative market delta called the exact high market plummets. What I've got is these solid lines are my volume profile. Solid blue, solid red, solid green. And these static levels are my more price profile. So when they come up together at the same price point in time, I got confluence with overall trend retracement. All right? I'll get into that a little bit later. But that shows you what we do. Here's another one. I'm telling you, sometimes my profile levels, they'll stop it to the exact tick. It's pretty remarkable. You'll see hundreds and hundreds of trades like this. Here we have a downtrend. We're not, we're not buying green. Yes, it bounced off of the low value, came up to the high value. I don't want you to be a player down here. I want you to short high value in a downtrend. So that's what downtrends look like. Downtrends, you want to sell high value. You don't want to buy low value. Okay, let's move on. Here's the key to market delta. Okay, so right here, this is actually, we come within two ticks of high value area in the control point. Here's the control point blue, two times confluence of my volume and price profile. They're within a couple ticks each other. So that's not when you pull the trigger. You pull the trigger because I just let market profile set my trade up, but now look what I'm doing. I'm letting market delta pull myself in. I want to see the market give me a sell imbalance right into resistance. Here's what you do. I have a beautiful called Simrinka bar. In fact, Gerald and I developed our own server so we can lock our Rinko bar. There's tons of Rinko bars out there. You can log in anywhere out there on any forums and get any type of Rinko bar. The mean Rinko bar, they have all kinds. But nothing is like this Rinko bar we developed. And we built our own server to lock our Rinko bar. And we did it because of the accuracy. Look how this market delta turned right exactly into high value area. All it needs to do is close red. Now, my bars, my Rinko bars match my market delta. So if it closes red, that means you have a negative market delta. You have more sellers than overall buy side on buyers. So there is a, there's a, buy, there's a sell side imbalance at that key level. So here's how you enter it. Now watch. You come up here within two ticks of high value. You know your trend filters down. I tell you my method, any market you trade, I don't care if it's the S&P, whatever. 
If it comes up within two ticks of your HVA, your trend filter is down, you watch market delta like a hawk. Market delta, positive market delta, positive, don't sell yet, positive, don't sell, positive, don't sell, positive, don't sell. Boom, red market delta. This red closed market delta tells you to get short. You have to get short. You can see in our, in our live room, Lawrence, 24 hours a day, buddy. You'll see how accurate it is. So you'll see this right here is the negative market delta. You want to open it at the close of that bar. Open your position at the close of that bar. Your hard catastrophic stop is 15 ticks on crude. We don't risk more than $150 for one contract. But guess what we do? After you enter, you place your stop two ticks above that doji right there. Two ticks above the doji right there. Now you just lowered your stop from 15 ticks to an average right around 12 ticks. Now you got an average of 12 ticks stop on crude oil. All right? We're trying to get down for a 400 to 600, maybe a $1,000 trade with $150 or $120 maximum risk. So that's the methodology, guys and gals. I let market profile set me up with trend retracements, and I let market delta decide when to pull the trigger. Okay? Let's look at buy setups. I show you sell setups. Buy setups are just the opposite. If I am trending up, I want to buy retracements. I don't want to sell retracements. I'm not a counter trend trader. Remember, there's only one specific trade where I counter trend trade at the session highs and session lows. And I teach you how to do that. But other than that, it comes down to control point. We get a positive market delta, major imbalance, takes off. We don't sell high value right here. The red, see, see these novice traders right here that sold? These sold right here at HVA. It went down the control point, positive market delta exploded. These guys got stopped out, didn't they? So what's the market do? Come up, and what do I say? And the downtrend, very easy. Downtrend, we sell red, and we never buy green, right? So what do we do in an uptrend? Just the opposite. That's how easy this is with muscle memory. Now, we don't sell red in an uptrend, we buy green. Now look at this. I mean, is this just, you think this is pure luck that you see hundreds and hundreds of trades that match up on my market profile? Look at this. My control point is right over top of my low value area. It stops it to the exact tick. The exact tick in crude oil. Two times confluence, control point, in an uptrend, major market delta. There she goes. Now, my goal on this trade at LVA would be all the way to where? Right there. HVA. All right. You sell red in downtrends, you buy green in uptrends, you do blue on both sides. All right, here's the S&P. Works the same way on the S&P 500. Look at the S&P 500. Very simple. This is how it works in all markets, guys. Look at my trend filter up. We don't sell red. We're smarter than that. I educate you. Don't sell HV in an uptrend. I mean, I, I, I pound it in my traders' heads. What I do with new traders that come in my room is this. We give them a software program that takes a picture of their losses. And I say, listen, take up, I don't want to see your winners. Take a picture of the loss that you just had, and I can tell you what you're doing right or wrong. That's how I get traders doing the right thing in this market. So if you're new to the system and you're confused, because I'll have traders in an uptrend selling high value area. Even if you tell them blue in the face, don't sell high value in uptrend, they'll sell it. So I can usually get you corrected if you start out on the wrong foot with the system. In an uptrend, buy retracements. There's low value area. We're in an uptrend. It comes within two ticks. Positive market delta. All right. There's your positive market delta right there. Okay. S&P takes off. We had a 30-point S&P trade just like this recently. 30 points. 30 points with an eight-tick stop. 30 points. With an eight tick stop, 30 point potential, right? You tell me market profile isn't great. Beautiful. Now, the buy side would look like this. I just show you the sell side. The buy side is just the opposite on market delta. Remember, we, we let market profile first set the trade up, right? It's got to set the trade up. Then with our trend filter, then this is where we want it. We want to come down within two ticks of the buy side. Here's crude oil. There's my beautiful spinning top. It turns green. It closes green. I got a maximum stop loss is 150 or, or 15 ticks, which is $150 per one contract in crude. I put my stop two ticks below the swing low. 
it adjusts my stop and average right around 12 ticks. So now I got a risk of 120 bucks and there she goes. Now, you probably ask yourself, well, Jay, you're going to be wrong sometimes, right? Absolutely. What happens is this sometimes. And here's how we keep our losses real small. Let's say we come down to the S&P right here, right? And a lot of traders don't talk about loss, about their systems. And you got to talk about loss because if you can keep the losses small in your system and you can let your runners run when they do have a great trade, that's how you're going to be a great trader on a week to week basis. So let's say the S&P comes down here and it's at LVA within two ticks. And I'm looking for positive market delta. And red, 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 finally get positive, we open the position up. I teach my traders this. If the next bar, if the next bar right here, if the next bar closes red, if it closes red, you must get out of the position because now you have negative imbalance after having positive imbalance at the low. Okay? Does everybody understand that? It's very important you understand that. If I get long positive market delta at a key market profile level, if it closes red on the next bar, you must take a small loss. Does that make sense? It's a Rinko bar, not a Rinko bar. Yeah, Rinko bar. Makes sense, guys? Hand me why if you understand that with market delta. You understand? If you get long on market delta and you're right on support and the next bar, there's a sell imbalance, you must get out of your trade. You must get out of your trade and take a small loss. Basically, market delta is very simply the relationship between the bid and ask, and it shows major order imbalances, buy side and sell side. So if I'm trying to buy, John, at these lows, I want to have a positive market delta. Now, the cool thing is this. I have a five sim Renko bar here. This is the only thing I use on crude oil, my five sim Renko. Anything over 200 on these numbers down here, anything 200 is a huge imbalance on crude huge anything over 200 we just had a thousand today on on crude thousand anything above 200 this is 312 you know you got yourself a beautiful thing right here yep yeah it works specifically for our market delta you got it mark i got a couple trend filters built into it um, that's why these doji and spinning tops show up you got it man no one else has this thing it's specifically built for our rinko bar now, I just showed you what to do in a downtrend and an uptrend, right? But I tell you what, if you don't know how to trade flatter range markets, you're toast, right? Here's what traders can do that amateur traders will do good at. They can trade uptrends, they can trade downtrends, but can they trade flat and chop markets? This is what happens. Since I've been in the market since 1989, 1990, Typically, the market trends three and it chops two, or it'll chop three and trend two. Recently, the past year and a half with crude and gold, almost two years in the S&P, it's been trending three and chopping two. So you need to know how to trade chop them because you don't want to make all these ticks on trend days. Trend days are easy. If you're in a downtrend, sell high value, uptrend, buy low value. I mean, easy, right? Easy to understand. And you have some good runners from that. On chop days, is different though. If my trend filter is flat as a pancake, I'm horizontal across the chart, I have a specific way to do it. I want you to buy the low of LVA with positive market delta and try to get to HVA. And sell the high of HVA with, with negative market delta and try to get back to LVA. Once you do that, look for a break retest of outside of LVA and HVA and take that thing short or long. It's been working that way for 31 years off market profile. If it's a flat market, sell the high, buy the low, look for the breakout. If it's trending down, sell retracement, sell retracement, sell retracement. If it's trending up, buy retracement, buy retracement, buy retracement. If it's flat as a pancake, buy the low, sell the high, look for the breakout. I just told you how to trade market profile within 30 minutes. I told you exactly how to trade it within 30 minutes on how to trade trend markets, and also how to trade flat markets. Now, there's one other chart we like to use. It works on all markets. Here's the YM, stopped at the exact tick there. It's just, it works on everything. Here's a Russell 2000, two times confluence, HVA control point, negative market delta, crash the market. It just works on NASDAQ futures right there, stopped it right to the exact bar, so on. 
Now there's one other chart I use, it's called my J signal chart, okay? So we got our market profile chart, I just show you how to trade. It's got my price and volume profile on it. If you're in a downtrend, sell HVA, let LVA break retest, sell it. If you're in an uptrend, buy LVA, let HVA break retest, easy. Now, I have a white chart you're gonna see in, this, in the room tomorrow. These are all negative market deltas right here. Negative 312, negative 263. These are all big sell imbalances. I have Fibonacci retracements that let you know when to sell in a downtrend for continuation trades. Now, I'll show you how to do this, but look how all these, now this is positive market delta all the way to the top, then it turned red 312. Even these Fibonacci dots that started earlier, it was green all the way up until the top, then it turned red. Green all the way to the top, negative 252, got it. Green all the way to the top, market delta, turned red. 411, huge sell and bounce. Boom, huge trade. Broke LVA. Remember, break LVA, retest, great trade, 170. Green market delta, crashed it. So we use this chart for developing profile. Now I just showed you price and volume off the black chart. What happens is this is that now with my J signal, I have developing profile. I have green is LVA, red is HVA. Same terminology, don't let your head spin. Very simple, very simple. Now, what you do is this. Here is your red sell point on HVA, and here is a break retest of LVA with my red Fibonacci dots. You wanna look for negative market delta here and negative market delta here, because what did I just tell you? In the beginning of this webinar, we do not buy and sell unless market profile sets the trade up. You must let market profile on either chart set the trade up. You must let market profile set the trade up. You do not trade off this chart until market profile is retested or broken and retested off my white chart. We do not trade all the way down here. You don't need to away from market profile. You want to trade right at market profile because getting this trade right here, this is a huge trade, huge trade in crude. This is almost at the lows, the $26 barrel. We were shorting. People thought, we probably thought they were crazy, shorting crude. The low on it was 26 and a half. It was still getting cranked at $29 or $28 a barrel, all the way down to 26. We took it for another 300 ticks. We took it for 300 ticks more. Traders were trying to buy crude oil at 29. We're still selling crude oil at 29. Why? Because market profile broke retested. A lot of traders got killed trying to buy crude, buy the low, buy the low, buy the low. And when it crashed below $40 a barrel, it kept going down and down and down, and we took advantage of it. But you can see, watch this now. Watch where market delta comes in. Now watch this. Look how beautiful this is. Look how pretty this is. Here's my first retracement I just showed you on the previous chart right here. There's into HVA. And here is into LVA. The market was in a downtrend on our trend filter. Look how market profile turned red, caught that one. Then here's my Fibonacci, I mean, here's my Fibonacci dots are coming up right here. Green market, market delta, and look at that red market delta. Caught the exact high, and look at that big move down. All predicated off market profile. There and there, all right? So, same thing here. Market profile is going to set the trade up. And then there's my market delta that got you in on the retracement when the fib dots came up. Right? Very simple. Let's look at a buy side. Buy side. Remember, market profile has got to set up on my white chart just like the black charts. If I get back inside of this green or outside of the green, then I take the first Fibonacci retracement. Here it is. Got back inside green. There's your first retracement. I want to see a positive market delta. Look at that. There's where the retracement happened. Here's where the got back inside of LVA, all positive market delta. There's my retracement. Boom. 492 positive market delta. I just got done telling you anything over 200 is huge on my Simrico on crude. Look at that market explode straight through the roof. Now check this out. We usually scale right around 10 ticks or the first set of symmetry dots, 50% of our position. If you're doing six contracts, scale three here, scale another one here, another one here, but you can let it ride until you get negative market delta. 
So you can let Market Delta decide on your position on runners. Beautiful. All right, here we go again. Broke outside a high value. Remember, just like my black market profile chart, the same way on my developing profile. Remember, my black chart showed price and volume. This shows developing during the day. I got outside of HVA. What does that tell you? Buy the first retracement. Here's when my Fibonacci darts started firing. They started firing at 62%. It got all the way down to 11.01% retracement right down here. But check how Market Delta kept you out when these Fib dots are firing to get you at the low. Now watch this. Look at that. Right at the low. Got you in right at the low in the first one. Now look at the second one. Now watch this. Here's your second Fibonacci. You broke outside of HVA. Fib dots start firing all the way down. Positive Market Delta gets right exactly at the low. Here it is. Right at the low. Look how Market Delta. Now look. Market Delta. The second one did not turn red, so stay in the trade. Did not turn red, stay in the trade. Don't make it difficult. Here we go again. This is your best trade you're going to get, okay, with, with my developing profile on the white chart, J signal. If I break outside of HVA, inside or outside, and I retest right on it, and I get a blue fib dot, right, and I get a positive market delta, the market should explode. This is a $700 trade potential. With the maximum risk of 150, it turned out to be a $120 risk. All because we let market profile break outside of profile. First retracement, and did we get positive market delta? Boom. 388 positive market delta. I just told you anything over 200 on crude is huge. Anything over 50 on crude is huge. Anything on the S&P, 1500 is huge. So this told you, now watch this. Look how cool this is. This is how they work together. This is where the market broke out. It broke right through my high value area. Boom. Broke right through the high value. See how it broke through the high value? Broke right through my high value. Then it retraced. This is where it was positive market delta all the way up. Positive, 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 positive. Then you're like, okay, negative market delta. Get me in. Get me some sellers. Come in. Come in. Then the sellers start coming in on the retracement. This is called an ABC setup or a one, two, three pattern. Hits right in my market profile. There's your ABC. Boom. Now look how market delta does it. There's my positive market delta. It goes all the way through HVA. There's my negative market delta that sets up the ABC retracement. And there it is. How pretty is that? 388 go long. Once you get long, make sure that second bar does not close red. If it does, that's a selling balance. Get out at a small loss. Take a $70 loss. Take a $60 loss. Don't take 120. Don't need to. Okay? That's how you're going to do well with a system like this. Go to the next one. What, what I just tell you, I told you at the beginning of the webinar, market profiles work for 31 years. Why would you even think about another indicator or strategy? Okay? There's so many systems out there. Every indicator works once. But does every indicator work on a daily basis and weekly basis? Not like market profile, right? So here's market profile again. Here's my developing profile. Remember, I told you on this white chart, don't be playing around. I try to catch the wave three and wave five pattern, an Elliott wave. If I break through low value area, I know to look for the first retracement market delta sell. There's my first retracement. Look at market delta. Here it is. Look at this. Here's where it broke through a, a LVA, right? You're smiling from ear to ear now because you're like, wow, market profile setting this up. It just broke through low value area. That means if it retests low value area, I get a negative market delta. I sell it right at that close of that red. There's your close of the red. There she goes. Now, look at the second retracement. It's a wave five pattern in Elliott wave. It's a wave three. There's a wave five, both impulse waves. Look at my Fibonacci dots call this. Red Fibonacci dots call, come up. Wave five pattern, negative market delta. There she goes. The black line's a volatility line. Here we go again. It's easy as one, two, three. I break below low value on my J signal. My first Fibonacci dots start printing. Starts at 62% retracement here. Goes all the way up to 11.01 11 retracement. And then all of a sudden, negative market delta. Oh, 237, again over 200. Showing a major sell imbalance at my Fibonacci dots, at breaking LVA in the retest. Then check it out. Whoops, check this out. 
the market comes up for another wave five pattern. Here's a wave three. Here's a wave five. Look at this. This small little retracement. It just gives us enough market delta positive to green to get back short red. Pretty cool, right? So in other words, guys and gals, I use the black market profile charts that you'll see in my room to buy and sell off of with overall retracements. I use my white J signal chart to buy and sell inside or outside of these profile levels right here, red and green. So I'll, all I'm doing is, is I'm letting market profile dictate when I buy and sell on a daily basis. And I'm letting market delta pull myself in the trade. And I let Fibonacci dots help me time the trades on the break of HV and LVA. That's my method. It's a very sophisticated, complex system, but very easy to execute. And your loss is small relative to risk, right? Your risk to reward is huge because you're letting this trade right here have a maximum of $150 risk, which would turn out to around $120 to $130. And you got a potential of a five, six, seven hundred dollar trade on your hands. All right. So these are just member testimonials, the ABC patterns that we talk about. You know, so some of the guys and gals that trade. So a lot of traders in here. We got uh, a lot of long-term members that like to give us. We have hundreds and hundreds of testimonials on this system. So it just goes to show you what uh, what a lot of these traders do here. Okay. So now here's what's key for you. If you want to get in and view the algorithm live tonight, I won't be in the room until 8.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. When I'm in the room at 8.15 Eastern we have crude oil inventories tomorrow at 10.30. I got unemployment claims that, that come in on Thursday for gold. So it's going to be an interesting week. Uh, uh, again, so log in, send an email to day trading the futures at Hotmail. We don't have your email. So send a, send your email and your name, day trading the futures at Hotmail. Gerald will send you one video to recap exactly what I just said today. I show you some live action in the room on the video. He'll send you the video. He'll send you the password to get in the room. You can stay in this room until Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Okay, you're all invited. Come in. Take a test drive. Don't take my word for it. You can watch Market Delta Live on Golden Crude. I only show Golden Crude in the room. But like I said, it works on all markets, everything, right across the board. Same exact method. Okay? All right, you guys have a great evening. We're thankful to Ninja Trader. Wesley, thank you. Brent, welcome. And thanks again, buddy. And um, I will see you guys in the trade room tomorrow. And many ticks to all. And God bless.